I'm Ross Jardine. For the past 20 years, I've been teaching people about money and finance. I founded InvestTools, one of the largest investor education companies that's now part of Ameritrade. I've had groups as large as 50,000 people using some of the most popular personal finance apps. So what have I learned? That personal finance apps don't work. All those fancy graphs and charts rarely change behavior. Uh, the fact is that uh, uh, the biggest problems that we face in money are personal debt and lack of savings. And spending is the root cause of both those problems. Now, if we want to change behavior, we have to engage users before they spend and give real constraints to help them with their spending control. Proactive does both those things. And to show us how it works, here's Ryan Clark. Thank you, Ross. Proactive mimics the most successful budgeting system in history, cash envelopes. Cash envelopes is so successful because it changes behavior. To spend, the user must open her purse, choose an envelope, remove some cash from that envelope, and spend. This system is completely cash-based. Proactive is cashless envelopes. Proactive's patented system follows these same steps. So to help us out, Ross, will you play a merchant and try to take my money? Okay. I'm really good at this, by the way. Nice. In order to spend, the user has to choose a category first. Currently, there's nothing on the card. It's down here at zero. So go ahead, Ross, give that a try. He runs the card and declined. So now what I'll do is I'll choose some fun money here, load it up on the card, and now, Ross... Try it again here. Approved. And we see here, very quickly, $5 has just gone to Ross. Thanks, Ross. Oh, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Both cash envelopes and proactive require their users to think before they can spend. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the key to changing behavior. Now, to further demonstrate how this works, we're going to follow our, our uh, test users, Kevin and Liz. It's a millennial couple. Kevin is a mechanic. Uh, they've got two kids. Kevin is an, out, is an avid outdoorsman. Uh, they live paycheck to paycheck, though, and they both hate it. But they also want to save up for a nice Christmas vacation to Disneyland. So first off, we can see here on the app that Proactive has already helped them to organize their spending into different savings and spending categories. Let's go ahead and add that Christmas budget. I'll add that in. This is a savings category, so we will be accumulating money. Give them a good $3,500. It's going to be a good trip. Start that this month and accumulate until December. Now we're going to turn on this require partner permission button. And what that does is that requires <laughs> both partners to agree to open this category up so one of them doesn't accidentally tap into the money before. All right, and there it is. Oh, it looks like Kevin just got paid. Let's go ahead and distribute that. Now, Proactive intuitively recognizes this deposit and identifies which paycheck or which distribution plan he should use. So we'll just go ahead and check that. Notice that Christmas is automatically getting funded down here at the bottom. And there in two taps, he's automatically distributed all his money into his categories. Easy. Now let's go with Kevin to the mall. He passes the Apple store. And there's the new Apple Watch with GPS. Immediately his emotions are triggered and he's got to have it. So he comes to his app, looks down here to gadgets, 262. It's not enough. He has the money so he can look through the other categories. Where can he spend? Let's see. Groceries. Yeah, he can always eat less. Maybe Christmas. Oh no, it's locked. Uh, Liz's clothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are liking this. But no, he thinks for a moment, he analyzes his priorities. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and so he passes on the Apple Watch for now. 
Let's just review what happened there, though. Proactive just helped him avoid an impulse purchase and possibly a fight with Liz. Good job, Kevin. <laughs> right. All right, so now let's go to Liz. So she goes to the shoe store, and there are those shoes that she just pinned on Pinterest. Now her emotions are peaked. She's got to have it. She comes here to her, to her different categories. She looks through it. Liz clothing right there. $62. The shoes are $75. Not enough. So Ross, what happens if someone tries to spend more than they have in a category? Declined. Declined. Proactive works just like cash. And there are no overdrafts. So she comes in here. She's got to transfer some money. Where from? Where from? Fun money. That sounds good. A little less fun this month. Hey, those shoes will be fun. Now, Kevin immediately gets a notification, so he's aware of the change in the plan. <laughs> They're both on the same page, and there now is the money. She activates that money on the card. Ross, go ahead and run that for 75 bucks. Run that through. You own some shoes. And the money comes off. Now, when Liz gets home, she realizes that her card is missing. But she feels safe because she knows that without the app, the card is useless. It's a piece of plastic. Proactive is the safest card on the planet. And it's just helped Kevin and Liz happily budget. Disneyland, here they come. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan.